Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In this week's video I'm going to be installing this oil catch can on the van. So what exactly is an oil catch can? Well as the name suggests it catches any excess oil and contaminants from the crankcase breather pipe just before it goes back into the engine. As the engine is running particularly on its compression and power stroke we get what's called blow by and blow by is a leakage of combustion gases past the piston rings and cylinder wall into the crankcase effectively pressurizing the crankcase and we don't want this to happen because we could potentially blow seals and cause engine damage and we'd have oil leaks. So all engines have this crankcase breather pipe and it allows the blow by gases to escape the crankcase um, so you don't have any pressure build up inside the engine. So by fitting an oil catch cam we're stopping the majority of the oil vapors from entering the inlet manifold and we've blanked off the EGR valve so the only thing that's going to be going through this intake manifold is air. I've gone for the cheap version of the Provent 200 oil catch can, this was about £20 and to be fair the build quality is pretty good. So why did I choose this particular oil catch can? It looks exactly the same as the Man Hummel Provent 200. This filter inside is a metal filter and it can be replaced with a genuine man filter. I saw a video on YouTube where a guy compared three different oil catch cans. This one, the cheaper version of the Mishimoto and a cheap eBay one. And he found that this one has the best flow through it. So you don't get any build up of pressure inside the crankcase. And that's very important for me. Fitting it on an older van where the oil seals are potentially a bit dodgy anyway. On the engine such as the rear crank seal. So I wanted something that wouldn't allow any extra pressure to build up inside the crankcase. So I think I'm going to install the oil catch can back here on the bulkhead. Um, that way we've only got a runner hose from here to here. Comes in the top and out the bottom. But the trouble is I need to get a good curve on that. And with the hose I've got it's quite stiff so I might have to put an elbow in it. This is a bracket I've made to mount the, the filter. As you can see it's just two pieces of angle. I can bolt one piece of angle to the bulkhead. Um, bolt the filter to the other piece of angle and then bolt the two pieces of angle together. the back plate securely in place I can get my upper bracket and it should be just enough room to bolt this on. hose here and I want to make it so it looks good. I think I can turn this a little bit. It might be better to have it at a slight angle. That's better. And then what about this one? Just so it looks down, and I'm just going to spray this black. Just give it a spray up. So there we have it. That's it installed, I just need to attach the drain hose on the bottom here. This is what I'm using for the drain hose, I've just got some clear braided hose and then I'm using a standard 15mm ball valve 
on a bit of 15 mil copper pipe. I'm just going under here to find a suitable place to mount my drain valve. There we go, a couple of cable ties to secure it down here. And then when I want to drain it, it's as simple as that. So it takes about 100 mils of oil before we have to drain this out. And it's clear so we can see how much oil's in there. So that's it installed. As you can see, the crankcase breather pipe goes to the filter any of the oil is caught in this before the air enters back into the engine here it's got the drain pipe down here with a valve right at the bottom of the van it looks fairly factory none of the pipes are touching there's gaps all around it and I reuse the existing hose so that if ever I want to remove this and just put it back to standard I can do quite easily Another problem with these engines is that you get an oil build up inside the inlet manifold and it drains back down into the air filter housing and then you get oil sitting on the air filter. With the oiled catch can hopefully that will also mitigate this problem. So with this engine it's a direct injection so the injectors spray fuel directly into the cylinder whereas with a port injection engine the fuel is sprayed on the back of the intake valves and effectively cleaning the intake valves. So. A DI engine is more prone to having carbon deposits build up on the back of the intake valves and over time that will cause a restricted airflow. I'm at the stage now where I can clean the inlet manifold. I've installed the oil catch can. It's got an EGR valve blanking plate installed so we haven't got any exhaust soot going back down the inlet. Um, so when we do clean the inlet manifold it should stay nice and clean because we haven't got any contaminants going into the engine anymore. So only time will tell whether this oil catch can actually works. I've reset the trip counter so we can keep track of how many miles we've done and I keep you updated with how it's getting on and if it's actually caught any oil. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and enjoyed watching it. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye for now.